with the second presentation, and this presentation is done um, by two partners, by Kanta and Essenta. So, yeah, over to you. Just uh, the 14 minutes tick down as soon as you start. Okay, so I'll start my clock now. Thank you so much. Yeah, hi everyone. I'm really happy to, uh, to present our SAP Hackathon CXM. Uh, our product is the self-service experience we call Catherine. And um, as a big picture, um, what we try to achieve during, um, during this hackathon is on the one hand side to reduce um, contact center costs by transferring inquiries you would normally send to, um, to human contact center contacts to a, um, a self-service um, scenario built on SAP Conversational AI. And in this SAP Conversational AI, we're really trying to, to build meaningful interactions by, by combining all the X data and O data we, we have and uh, thereby closing the, uh, the inner and the outer loops. So um, the story we're going to tell in the second in our demo is of, of Hannah. It's just a coincidence that it's the same name as the, the 54. And um, Hannah is a production manager for, um, for a DMI customer. And um, you know, being DMI, every interaction has a really high value. And um, as we all probably are, Hannah is always busy. And um, one of her orders is, is late. So instead of calling the, um, the contact center and finding out what her order is, she, she logs onto the commerce site and um, sees that there's a, a chatbot there and um, asks the chatbot for her order information and which tells her that her order is coming tomorrow. And um, she's really happy about that. So in the meantime, she gets a call from a uh, technician on the, uh, on the production floor that one of her machines has broken down again. And they really need a, a service technician to come by and have a look at it straight away. So. Um, you know, Hannah still has a chatbot open, so she, she gives it a go trying to um, create a service appointment for a service technician in the chatbot as well. But um, she had a pretty bad experience last time when a, uh, a service technician came by. You know, he was, um, he was really, really late. So um, she gives us that feedback as well. And as a, as a small thank you, she gets a, a coupon code while at the same time also getting a call from um, one of our service agents in the contact center, um, really trying to um, make her experience better again and, and close that inner loop. So um, at the end of the story, Hannah is um, a happy customer again and her um, bad experience is remedied. So uh, straight on to the demo, we have a, um, <clears throat> a SAP Commerce Cloud um, store here. And you can see in the bottom right-hand side, we have a, um, a chatbot option. So um, Hannah goes ahead and opens that chatbot and is greeted by, by Catherine, our chatbot solution, asking her how Catherine can help her. So Hannah really needs some info on her order. So that's what she types in. I, I really need some info now. And what's happening in the background here is um, Catherine is checking the, uh, the login information we have from Hannah. So um, we can see here Hannah is logged into um, SAP Commerce and we're getting her account ID and all the other relevant information we need. At the same time, we're also getting her, um, her Qualtrics contact information and using past experience data to maybe build this, this conversation in a more organic way. So you can see here, Catherine is suggesting that she can help her with some information on products or maybe replacement parts, but um, Hannah really needs some, some information on her order. So she goes ahead and, um, and selects the order information. And what Catherine is gonna do is, uh, Catherine's gonna check with the SAP Sales Cloud in the back end to see what open orders Hannah has at the moment. So we can see she has two open orders at the moment, one for a, um, a pump and one for a compressor. So for example, her, um, her pump order is late at the moment. So she goes ahead and checks that and um, we can see that the, um, her order status is still open, but the expected delivery is gonna be tomorrow. So that makes um, Catherine really happy. As mentioned in the story before, at this time, um, Hannah really, she gets a, a call from one of the uh, technicians on the production floor telling her that um, a machine is broken down and they need a service technician to repair it. So, um, you know, Kat, uh, Hannah still has the, um, the chatbot open, so she goes ahead and tries to um, maybe also schedule the, the service appointment here. So, um, Catherine's going to go ahead and suggest a couple things she can help with. So, um, Catherine can help with placing an order or registering a complaint. Retrieving some information, which is what we just saw, but uh, Catherine can also help us um, scheduling a, um, a service technician when a machine requires service. So um, Hannah selects that um, her machine requires some service, and Catherine is going to go back to the SAP Sales Cloud and uh, retrieve a list of, um, of all the registered products that, that Hannah has on her account. And again, that account information we have from the, uh, from the commerce login. So we can see here that um, Hannah has two registered machines in the SAP sales cloud, a pump and a compressor again. And um, 
the compressor is broken down. And uh, so she selects that as a product she's having issues with. And um, Catherine goes ahead and asks her what the problem is. So say there is no pressure on the outlet. And um, Catherine will say, all right, well, we'll have someone look at it straight away. When would you like the, uh, the service appointment to be? So um, you know, maybe next Tuesday is a good time for, um, for Hannah. So she can say 16 or 6, 2020 at, at 2 o'clock. And um, that's when she'd like the, um, the service technician to come by. So Catherine is going to go ahead and, uh, and use that information and show it here and um, just have Hannah confirm that this is all right. So I will say yes. And at this point, Catherine is going to go into the um, SAP service cloud and uh, create a new machine service request so um, one of the technicians can, um, can go and have a look at it. So we can see here, Catherine has said, OK, great. I've created the service ticket for you. One of our technicians will be in contact with you shortly. And um, jumping over to um, the SAP service cloud, we can see there is a, um, a new request for um, for her machine service, and uh, you can see the um, the customer information we have from the contact login, as well as the uh, the product she selected, which is broken, her um, her requested start time, as well as the uh, the problem description she gave. So um, at this point, you know, uh, Hannah is still pretty unhappy about the the past experience she had with um, with the technician who was too late. So she doesn't need anything more from Catherine. But what Catherine is going to go ahead and do now is. Um, she wants to gather some some data on how how we're doing as a um, a customer service provider, and Hannah had a really bad experience. So she says it's a we had a two star experience. He was really really late, and um, you know we're really sorry about that. And uh, if you have any suggestions? So we just say the uh, last technician was I don't know was eight hours late. He was really really late, and that made Hannah really unhappy. So um, she's given us the, her um, experience data on that point now. And um, in order to close Hannah's inner loop, we, we asked her nicely if we, it'd be OK for her if one of our service employees would give her a call and um, try and alleviate her problem. So um, that's absolutely fine for her. So um, what I haven't told you yet is actually all these questions we're asking here on her experience data here is not something that comes from the chatbot, but this is actually a, um, a Qualtrics survey. So instead of giving um, Hannah a link to a Qualtrics survey and asking her to, uh, to redirect there and give her experience data, we're doing it directly in the chatbot. So all these questions and answer possibilities are coming directly from Qualtrics, and the, um, the survey she's, uh, she's sent is um, being sent back to Qualtrics in order to um, have further analysis done on that. So um, we can see here now we, um, we really appreciate Hannah's feedback, and as a small thank you, um, we sent her an email voucher. Um, so let's have a look. So uh, this is a bit big. We can see that, um, OK, this is just something we were working on, but I have a backup here. So this is the email that Hannah would receive now with her um, coupon on free shipping. And of course, we do um, CO2 neutral shipping as well. And, um, right, so um, that's it for my part. Thomas, I'll hand over to you for the um, Analytics Cloud part. Thomas, you have to unmute yourself as well. OK. Can you see my screen? I can, yes. Very good. So uh, we are having a look right now at uh, some dashboards, all of them uh, tailored to special user groups. So this is the one for the CX lead of the company and for a call center agent. And um, this is collecting X and O data. And just to give a brief overview, we have in first line all the main um, KPIs. There's a, what you just have seen from the chat or the customer satisfactory. And we um, also have some other touch points which we check four in total. And one of them is the call center as well. From the call center, we collect uh, a net promoter score and the customer effort score and also an operational outcome. For both, we uh, collected the operational data uh, as far as the tickets are concerned. So uh, how many tickets have been created during the last 40 days 
and what uh, is the difference uh, between this and the period before. Uh, in order to dig a bit deeper into the data, we have an overview of the data we collected with the chatbot itself. It's the open comments in here, and you can see this last time the technician was laid, which was just given in. There's an overview of the tickets by priority and status, and also uh, the customer satisfaction across the inquiries. The same thing uh, would apply for uh, the uh, data we collect from people contacting the call center. And uh, of course, it is used to, to close the outer loop as well. So there are a few things which you can see in here, for example, that we are not doing very good for machine service requests in here. Or if we look at the call center itself, is that, for example, Berlin, so we have three call centers and Berlin is not performing very well, for example. So this gives us the possibility to choose the outer loop and have a look at uh, these things and set up meetings concerning these points. We have also the open-ended comments in here. And what we use on top is um, we use the R visualization to set up some word clouding. And uh, the analytics cloud gives us the possibility to inject uh, R scripts in here. So uh, behind this, uh, you can, and we did it just partly, inject our own natural language processing pipeline for it. Uh, last but not least, we have also a geomap uh, for from where the, the contacts with the chatbot are coming. And you, we can see it's going, or it's very well adopted in the main uh, cities of Germany. Um, coming to um, the executive now, which is um, responsible for another goal, which is reducing the cost. This guy is a very busy one, has a lot of responsibilities, and he's traveling a lot. So usually he looks at his dashboard in uh, his mobile device, in this case, a tablet. And um, you can see also the a few KPIs in here. Uh, and has a very brief overview about the cost and how it develops about the chatbot context, which you should raise, it should limit the, the cost. And FCR means the first call resolution. We have X and O data here as well from the call center and from the customer. And we can see the call center looks slightly better than the customer thinks of it. And the customer satisfaction here as well. And we see some trending. So even though the cost was raised during the last few days, the trend is okay. and uh, raise of the number of contacts with chatbot is also okay. Last but not least, a very brief look at uh, the dashboard uh, of the service technician. Uh, Hannah ordered one. We can see also KPIs in here. Open comments. The thing is we combine uh, data from the customer and from the engineer in order to see if there's some, um, if one is dependent on the other. We can filter here on uh, certain service tickets. This is uh, so connected to other things in here as well. And we can have a look at the open ended questions from both sides. So back to you. Thank you so much, Thomas. Um, I'll go ahead and share my screen again. And um, one thing I forgot to mention just before is, of course, we want to close Hannah, Hannah's inner loop. And she said, uh, yes, we're allowed to call her. So, of course, we're creating an urgent ticket in, in C4C and uh, telling our, um, our service agent to give her a call right away. So um, back to the slides. In the interest of the jury's time, I'm probably going to go ahead and just uh, briefly skip over this, um, this architecture slide we have and jump straight to the uh, lessons learned. So um, the, the, one of the main lessons we've learned is um, the, the styling options of SAP conversational AI aren't very uh, large. And one thing you can do is just inject custom CSS onto your, your platform, so in our case, commerce and just overwrite the, uh, the standard styling, which makes it look a lot nicer. So on the left, you can see the standard, on the right, you can see the, the new one. Um, one other question here was, what should be there in order to create more test cases, for example? And we spend a lot of time creating test data to support storytelling. So to make it you know, uh, look good and uh, that you know if you have a bad score that so that bad and good scores are not mixed up and so on and to create open text data is also an issue and last but not least i mean 
I, we have a very good insight into Quadrix dashboards. We use them a lot. And this time we decided for the analytics cloud. I think both have a right to be there. So I just listed a few uh, um, advantages of both of them. So Quadrix is rather you know, easy to use. Uh, you have a steep learning curve and there's this world cloud filtering which is really good which can't be achieved in SAC so far. On the other hand, SAC ability to create complex analysis. It's very easy to combine X and O data and they have this open interfaces, especially the R uh, interface is very good. And as I said, both have the right to be there but if we can get best of both worlds that would be very nice in the future. Right, um, that was our presentation. So um, a big special thank you to, of course, Desiree, Francois, Christian, and Kai for organizing all this. And a very big uh, thank you to the um, Hackathon team and all the expert presenters that, um, that helped us along the way. So um, that was our presentation. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Great presentation, Kanta and the center team. Uh, I really liked it. Also, uh, the feedback that uh, you gave us so it's now up to the audience again to give you the feedback. I already posted the link in the, uh, in the chat, but I also share my screen in case you wanna just use the QR code.